We're now going to compare different points on the IS curve. The IS curve shows different combinations of interest rate and level of production where the goods market is in equilibrium. Let's compare two points, point one and point two. In moving from point one to point two, the interest rate is lower. This has led to an increase in production from Y1 to Y2. But this is not the only difference between point two and point one. We said the interest rate is lower, the level of investment is higher, and the higher level of investment led to an increased demand for goods and services. So the demand for goods and services is also higher. The higher demand for goods and services led to an increase in the level of production. So the level of production is also higher. And C, private consumption expenditure. Well, we know the higher demand for goods and services put the multiplier process into motion, leading to the higher level of production. And we know private consumption expenditure is a function of the level of production. Therefore, C will also be higher. You must remember, an increase in level of production leads to an increase in private consumption expenditure. If we turn to the government sector, we know government sector is autonomous. So, level of government spending and taxes didn't change when the interest rate decreased.